privatisation happened in 1992. Effectively, um, a series of private, private monopolies uh, were created around the country, um, and there's no on-track competition. So the only uh, competition occurs is when they're uh, bidding for franchise agreements. Um, so what we really need to see is more on-track competition. So why hasn't this happened? Why is there resistance to this? The government's worried, in essence, that um, the franchisees, so for example Southern um, or Govia Trains, um, their revenues will be sort of hampered by this and that would then reduce the revenue going to the government. So that would mean less revenues um, you know, to spend on the railways. But the East Coast mainline example you know, where open access is operating, that hasn't been observed. So um, the, um, that franchise gave £200 million this year to the government. And, and also customer satisfaction on that route is, is the highest anywhere, I think, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. First Hull Trains and Grand Central, the two open access operators, have the highest passenger satisfaction ratings and also where they compete on that line, um, you know, customers and passengers see lower fares compared to where they're not competing.